uh, Magpul sights. You got All 45 right. caliber Chris Vector. Shoots. Will shoot 45 uh, magazines for your Glock. Glock 21, then. Glock 21. This is a Gen 2. Gen 2, yeah. This is the Gen 2 Chris Vector. Shoots 45. You can actually interchange it with your 21 mag. Glock 21. Glock 21. Uh, uh, 45 ACP. 45 ACPs. Yeah. All right, you ready? I think so. All right. Hey guys, I'm Atticus James here with gizofguns.com and today we are out here with our newest Proby. This is Patrick. What's up, Patrick? How you guys doing? So, what are we looking at today? Today we're looking at Chris Vector. This is a Chris Vector 45. And this is a 9mm. The great thing about the Chris Vectors is it actually comes with these Magpuls sights right here. Another awesome part about this gun is that this is a non-reciprocating charging handle, which means that for all of you SCAR people out there who can't put your thumb there anymore because you're going to rip your thumb off, you don't have to worry about that with this. This does not move. If you have a Glock 45, which is the Glock 21, you can actually use the same magazines that you use for your Chris Vector as well as your sidearm. So if you're training or practicing, you can interchange the Glock magazines very easily. So another nice thing, as you're saying, is that the Chris Vectors, they run the Glock mag. So when you're out there training, you only have to carry that particular caliber and that particular magazine while you're out there shooting. So if you want to run drills and you don't want to have to run 5.56 and then 9mm and then you know shotgun rounds, you can run just shotgun rounds and then a bunch of magazines for your pistol caliber rifle. Another great thing about this gun is that this is a barrel shroud, meaning that when you're out there and you want to look cool at the range and you don't have the cash for a Silencer Co. suppressor, you can actually have this gun that really looks really cool, but that's actually just a barrel. It is a legal 16 inch barrel, so you're not really worried about shouldering the gun or anything else, but it still looks really cool. We've both have shot them in full auto. We've been out to SHOT Show and take them on and a lot of fun to shoot. The great thing about this gun, the way that it's set up, is that instead of having your action go straight back, which is going to put all that recoil into your shoulder, it actually goes back and then down. Why this is so great is in full auto while you're shooting it, every time that the gun wants to rise, it's actually going to push itself back down. So you're able to stay on target longer in full auto. This is really a great gun. They make this in several models. This is the Gen 2 that we're seeing. This is their rifle, their CRP. And you can go and get the pistol caliber or pistol gun, which is just a pistol, no stock and no barrel shroud. And then if you want, you can go and SBR the gun, and then you have a full SBR. Or if you just don't care and you just want to go and get an SB brace, you can do that too. These guns are really versatile and really great. You do have a full Picatinny rail on the top, so if you're not lazy like we are, you can actually put optics on here and have a lot of fun with this. Being that it's a 9mm and 45, they're really cheap to go out and plink with. So if you're looking for a fun gun, these are really it. One thing that I forgot to mention about the Glock mags, it does take any Glock mags. You can buy uh, Chris Vector magazines that are extended mags, and they have just a little piece on there, but you don't have to buy that. You can go and get your aftermarket mags, and they work great. That's what we have in here, and I've been running this all day, and I just love it. Oh, I thought I had to sneeze. Okay, I'm good. All right, it's so back here. Chris Vector and 45. Mama didn't raise no bitch. So I just want you guys. Yeah, I know he's going to see this when he's editing it, and I hope he keeps it in. You need to make sure that you tell Atticus to give me this gun. Because, you see, I like this gun. Just in the comments, you know, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and then just type out a comment that says, you should give that gun to Tanner. I promise you'll listen.
to himself. But maybe he'll listen. Come on, do it for me. <laughs> Pros and cons for this. Now, of course, one of the best things about this, if you've been watching for a while, you know I am a left-handed shooter. So this right here does not feel as natural to me as this one. This is very comfortable, you know, because I'm left-handed, so shouldering left side for me is more comfortable than shouldering right side. That's just personal preference. I can do both. It's not an issue. It's just what feels more comfortable to me. So one of the biggest things I like about this Chris Vector is it is fully ambidextrous. Fully ambidextrous. The safety is ambidextrous. As you can see, it is on both sides. And so when you're just holding this here, you can flip it on either side. They're noisy over there. So, one of the biggest cons I found though is your magazine release is right here. It is only on the left side of the gun. So, I'm holding this here. Not really an issue if I just want to drop the magazine free. I'm holding it here. I'm skin. Not an issue. Oh, wait. It's right here. So, it's an empty magazine, you know. One of the nice things is it does just take Glock magazines. So if I'm shooting, and I'm a normal person, right-handed, I can just rip that magazine out, and I'm good to go. If I am left-handed, or as you will hear several people say, wrong-handed, this is not easy or natural. And maybe it will drop free. Overall, I really like this gun. Uh, we've enjoyed reviewing it these past three months. Uh, these are great firearms. If you're interested in one, seriously, go find someone who has it. Go find a range to rent it. Or just take the plunge. You will love these things. They are great. I'm Taren with Gearsguns.com. So is that what it? What it is? Yeah. Stunt placement. Got it. Well, it's, it's hand placement, yeah. Hand placement. All right, guys. So, interesting thing we just found out. What we're uh, what we're finding is Patrick is having an issue with these guns, and I couldn't for the life of us figure out what it is. It's his hand placement. If he has his hand up a little too high, he's pressing his bolt catch, which is pushing it back just enough that every time he fires the gun, it will go and lock it up. So, I'll show you with it what, what we're seeing so guns ready to go if he goes and he holds his hand here plug it on that we catch which means every time if he isn't holding that it will work learn something new every day i can shoot hey guys i'm atticus james with gears of guns and I truly appreciate you guys watching this video. It's been a lot of fun working with Chris Vector and with our new Proby for the uh, Gears of Guns channel. This is Patrick again. If you guys like this video or you just liked his pretty face, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, tell him how much he smells, whatever you need. Also, if you guys want 5% off your entire purchase from Optics Planet, use our code GOG5. All in all, I really do love these guns. They, uh, they're a lot of fun to shoot. What do you think about them, man? I love them. It's cost effective. It's easy to buy 90 millimeter rounds or 45 rounds. It's a great gun. I really like that they use this Glock Max. That, to me, is a huge thing. I would love to see them using other magazines, Sig Mags and other mags like that, but honestly, Glock Mags are so plentiful now, and with companies like Hex Mag making magazines in 9 millimeter, we're just gonna see the market bigger and better with Glock Mag. So you're really not gonna have to worry about the cost of magazines. You can get Magpul, you can get Glock Mag, you can get just aftermarket part magazines that nobody knows who makes them. Overall, these are really great guns, they're really fun to shoot. If you haven't shot one yet, go to your local gun shop, see if you can uh, pick one up to shoot, borrow it, rent it, do something. They're fun, they're just cool looking guns. And if you get them in full auto, mm, 
you're going to have a good time. Again, I'm Atticus with Gears of Guns. This is Patrick. We'll catch up with you next time. Bye.